everyone, so I have a DVD review and today I'm talking about Evan Almighty. Now I first saw this when it first came out, which I believe was 2007, and I loved it. Now I love Bruce Almighty, but I actually saw this before Bruce Almighty, and then I watched Bruce Almighty and then watched this again, and it made a little bit more sense. And this is one of my all-time favourite movies, so I am surprised that it's taken me this long to A, get a DVD, B, get around to reviewing it for you, because, you know, normally I'd love to share my, my favourite DVDs with you, but this is definitely one of them. And for those of you who haven't seen it, it focuses on the life of Evan Baxter, who was just a normal family, family man with a really good job, and things were going really well for him. But then one morning he wakes up and he shaves his beard, like, you know, just a little stubble, he shaves it, grows back. And this keeps happening, and he doesn't understand what's happening. And then he gets this message from God, and it turns out that he is actually the modern answer to Noah, because there's going to be a big, massive flood in the city, but everyone's like, you're kidding, it's, it's dry here, it's never rained for, you know, a million years it's not going to have a flood don't be stupid and at first of all Evan's kind of like no I don't believe this someone's just playing a silly joke on me but then he finally warms around to the idea especially when his beard is like this long or something he finally realizes right hang on maybe I am today's answer to Noah I should be building an ark so he gets his whole family to get on board with building this project which the neighbors don't like a lot of problems come with building a, gi a gigantic ark in the middle of an estate and that's a big problem but they've actually bought the plot of land next to their house, so they actually have their own land to build the big ark, which I thought was a, a really nice way of getting around the errors of having the council smash your house down. And they build the ark, and there's a really beautiful scene where all the animals are going on it, and I just think it's absolutely fantastic. I don't know if there's a... Well, there's kind of a picture there. I don't think that's an actual screenshot, or it might be, where all the different animals are going on, going on it and things, and it's great. Before he kind of accepts the fact that he is Noah, he gets stalked by animals, you know, the birds in his office, and there's a scene where the birds just sort of... That doesn't look like my arm, does it? <laughs> awesome. Where the birds make a big mess on him, I'll say. And my one of my favourite scenes is when he's in the car, and he goes, SHEEP! <laughs> because there's a sheep next to him in the back of the car. I thought that was one of the funniest things I've ever seen. I don't think there's a screenshot of that one, is there? No, I absolutely love that scene so much. I laugh every time, and I mean proper rolling on the floor, dying with laughter, laughing, it's, it's perfect. And it's just really, really such a funny film. There are so many comic bits in it. In fact, most of it is just gigantic comedy. There's, there's no dull bits in it, you know, not along with comedies, you'll get the basic bits, but no, this is fantastic. You have the emotional bit at the end, big spoiler here, you have the emotional bit at the end when the floods come and everyone's like, oh, uh-oh, and if, you know, he, he was right, this crazy guy, the crazy beard guy is right. There's a big flood. And they all get on and they try and save themselves. And it's 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 a big relief to know that Evan wasn't actually going nuts and he was real. Um, there's a bit where he wears robes where there is a scene at the end, the bearded robed, robed guy, which I thought was just absolutely brilliant. It's so funny, it's so basic. You have to be careful when you're when you're playing with biblical stories for films, you know, because some people can be offended. I'm not Christian, I'm not offended. But I know that some people could be offended if you played, you know, if you made... I suppose Noah's not as bad, but say you made a comedy out of the crucifix, some people would kick up a fuss. But I think it's done really well, really tastefully, um, just really brilliantly. I really love it. The cast is great. Obviously, the two main cast members are Steve Carell, who plays Evan Baxter, and Morgan Freeman, who plays God. Morgan Freeman is one of the best gods in the world. He's just absolutely fantastic. Um, I love him very much so. In fact, the the DVD that the camera is sitting on, if you can see out there, is a Morgan Freeman DVD. Just thought I'd point that out. Uh, yeah, so it's definitely one of my favourite movies of all time. It is a PG. The DVD itself is about £3 on Amazon. I realise the camera's not focusing. There we go. Um, yeah, but go and buy it if you haven't seen it. You will love it. You don't need to have seen Bruce Almighty to understand it. But you'll get to know a little bit more about the character's background if you have seen him in Bruce Almighty. and It just makes a little bit more sense. Um, yeah, but please feel free to leave comments and let me know your thoughts on this or anything else. And that is it for just now, so I'll see you all next time. Bye!